Hello everybody, this is Mike Gers from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living and this is the yoga dog that, the grand and glorious yoga dog that just had her dinner <laughs> and uh, just came from makeup to see you. Um, what I want to talk today about is abundance and the reason why I want to talk today about abundance is that with what's going on and people getting laid off and stuff like that going on, businesses not knowing when they're going to be able to open, you hear about all this stuff. My, there's been a lot of worry and a lot of concern about abundance. Will I have enough? Well, first of all, we got to recognize what our source is. Whoa! And yoga's got to go back and eat some more food, I can see. <laughs> anyway, um, first thing is, we need to recognize what our source is. Our source is God or spirit. Our source is not the channel. Now, our good comes through channels, and those channels can be multiple sources. They might be the job you have or have had, but that doesn't mean the source doesn't exist. The source is always with us, and it's always available to us, but we have to be open to it. Open to it. So what we're going to talk about is the reason why you can expect to be abundant. The reason why you can expect to be abundant is because the true self of yourself is the inheritor of the divine estate. Now we recognize, I hope, that God is the whole, is the all in all. God is abundance. You can't count all the sands, all the sand on the beach, on one beach, let alone all the stars and all the universes in the sky. God is abundance. So that abundance which God is individualizes by means of you because you are that. You are that in expression. Now repeat after me. I am that. I am that I am. Now that which God is, I am. So if you are the inheritor of the divine estate because you are that which God is in, express, is in expression, what can you expect? You can expect to be open to abundance of different sources of channels of that coming to you. Now, for some people, that might mean finding a different job. For some of us, that might be finding a different career. For some of us, this might be really wonderful because we've been finding out that all the time we've been climbing up the ladder of success, we've been finding out that we've been, the ladder's been leaning up against the wrong building and we can begin something anew. This might be an opportunity for us to get in touch with what it is that spirit that we've always longed to do and begin to start doing it. Have you wanted to be a writer? Start writing today. That's what writers do. Have you wanted to do something else? Well, make a decision that this is the opportunity for you to do that and begin moving in that direction. The universe is going to supply for you. Yes, you can worry if you want to worry, but it doesn't help things. We need to know that God perfects all that concerns us. The Bible tells us that I prefer to say the law perfects that all that concerns us, but whatever you would choose. The point of it is, is since we are individualizations of that which God is, God takes care of itself, God will take care of you. Right here, right now, there's a presence and a power which overspans eternity and finds that dwelling place within you, within me, within everyone. We know the qualities of that which God is. Those are life, love, light, power, peace, beauty, and joy, and abundance. So folks, you are the abundant. You are the abundant one. You are the inheritor of that which God is. Abundance is your right. Claim that right. Accept that right now is the best time of your life is is put you on a pathway of great riches, a, an opportunity to discover greater wealth, greater richness than you've ever known before. 
allow yourself to accept that possibility, that idea. And you can rest assured, God will perfect that which concerns you. Thanks for being with us today. Remember, we live stream every Sundays. You'll hear Dr. Maxine sharing a great inspiration. And you just need to go to our website, cslphilly.org, and it'll show you directly how to do that. And also, it'll give you an opportunity to make a contribution. I'd say a contribution rather than a donation, because this is not a charity. This is an opportunity for you to give to spirit through the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living. Remember, giving to spirit is a great barometer of your spiritual condition. So join us now in awakening humanity to its spiritual magnificence and be the abundance that you are. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.